Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I will quickly show you how you can add an, another domain to your Namecheap Shade Hosting uh, cPanel and then install WordPress on it. So the first thing you have to do is buy your domain. So to purchase a new domain, go to Namecheap.com. You can find the link in the description from it is my affiliate link and you will get the best deal from it. So check the link in the description and go to Namecheap website and purchase your domain.com from here. And then once you have bought your domain, what you have to do is go log into your Namecheap dashboard and then here you will see the list of all the domains available in your account. So what you have to do is change the DNS server of the of your new domain. So for example, this is the domain I want to add to my Namecheap Shade Hosting cPanel account. So what I will do is select it and then click on manage. And from here, I will scroll down and see you, you will see this option of name servers. And as you can see here, currently it is set to custom DNS, whatever it is set to, if it is set to Namecheap basic DNS or anything, what you have to do is change it to this option, Namecheap web hosting DNS. So select it and then click on this tick mark. Okay, so the DNS server update may take up to 48 hours. You will see this notice. And if it was set to like something um, basic DNS, so you may not be able to instantly see the changes of DNS and it may take some time. So once you have done this, what you have to do is now let's go to the cPanel. This is the Namecheap cPanel account. And to, if you want to learn how to log into it, what you have to do is go to Namecheap dashboard from their products and then you will see this option of go to cPanel. Just click on it and you will directly get logged into cPanel. Okay, so once you have logged into your Namecheap shared hosting cPanel account, what you have to do is just scroll down until you see this option in the domains tab you will see in this option of add on domains. So this tutorial is for those who have, uh, who want to add another website to their account. So I already have one website connected to this account and this is the add on domain. So I'm creating, uh, adding second website to this account. So then click on this option, add on domains. And from here you have to type the domain name. So I will just go back to my Namecheap dashboard and just copy the domain name from here. Just copy paste the domain name and these fields will be filled automatically. And if you want to change it, you can also do it like um, this root folder. So I can change it to um, this my VB um, directory. So just like that, um, it's completely optional. So, and then click on add domain. Okay, so once the process is complete, it may take some seconds, a uh, few seconds to complete. So you will see this message, the add on domain, mybbsecurity.net has been created. And if you would like to manage this, the uh, link to file manager, and you can also enable HTTPS with free one year positive SSL installation is in progress for. So let's check um, if the free HTTP uh, SSL certificate has been installed. Let's click this link because uh, SSL is very has become very important and it is very important for SEO and your know, for me to make sure that all the data between your server and your visitors system as remains encrypted and your visitors can trust your website. So SSL is really important and I have already created other video about how to get permanent free SSL certificate. So once if your certificate has expired or for some reason you do not have an SSL certificate, you can watch my other video to, uh, to learn how to get free SSL certificate. Okay, so it is showing the sign in option. Let's sign in. This is the free SSL certificate that Namecheap provide with all shade hosting. So if you want to get that, you have to um, just check the link in the description. There will be a link how to uh, get the hosting that offers free SSL certificate. So you will see this notification, just click on allow. Okay, so you now, once you allow it, you will see this message, see the screen. 
install via Namecheap SSL. So you can see the clearly here that they are Namecheap offer one year free positive SSL certificate for uh, you can install free SSL and we install SSL for mybbsecurity.net and let's check if it is working. Okay, currently it is showing some uh, error. We will fix that later. So once the DNS propagation is completed, that error will be gone and we will see the uh, our WordPress website on it. So as you can see here, it is showing here this um, uh, status active and HTTP is redirect on. So now let's inst the, so installing SSL certificate is complete. So now let's install our WordPress. Go click on home and then scroll down and you will see this option so in softaglers apps installer tab wordpress just click on it and here you will see this options uh, install now so just click on it and from here select the correct domain uh, select this and because we have already installed the SSL certificate so I will select HTTPS and from here if you want to change that like your blog site name and site description so you can change that for tutorial purpose I'm not going to do that um, I will change this admin email right now to um, to my personal Gmail address Again, enter your email here and then once you have filled all the details just click on install okay so you'll see this once the WordPress installation is complete you will see the screen congratulations the software was installed successfully so we have successfully installed WordPress and we have added domain we have installed SSL certificate so everything is done so let's try to see if we can access this website right now because um, uh, okay, so uh, you can see here it is sh still showing this error. It is because the DNS propagation is not completed. But but once it gets completed, um, you will be able to see the WordPress website. So for once again, let's try it using a different browser. So I'm going to try it with Mozilla because sometimes uh, the browser also cache the DNS. So uh, because of that, you are not able to see the latest version of your website and you, after a few hours it get cleared and then you will be able to see the live website so as you can see here it's loading okay so you can see here it's working on the mozilla firefox browser and uh, so i've shown you how to do it and um, if you have still have any questions please post in the comments and i will get back to you and if you want to learn more about wordpress and want to watch interesting wordpress tutorials which are very helpful and easy to follow please subscribe to my channel i post very good quality and easy to follow tutorials and um, i will see you in the next video